Hello awesome people, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Startup Panic, where in the last episode we've maxed out our first skill on our uh, solo character. So just as a reminder, our goal here is to go solo as long as we can uh, with our own character here and then start introducing other characters once we actually have to. Um, so our first maxed out skill is technology, 40 out of 40. Uh, my intention is to hopefully max out probably aesthetic because we're further away with it. Uh, for the long way with it to max that out hopefully this episode otherwise next episode uh, and hopefully follow usability with it very fast and then we will start you know putting some points to marketing the idea is to max this character out as you know to the full max um, before we actually start hiring other people but there is always the possibility that we kind of have to um, but I like the fact that we can try and go solo as far as we can. So let's continue with that. Um, let's see, what is the next step? So we are uploading image, which I think is the feature here. Let's zoom out a bit. Uh, where are we? I thought uploads. Oh, there it is. Yeah, we are basically rebuilding this. Oh, that's right. We were doing a... Uh, a run of making everything a 10 out of 10. Um, it's been a little while since I've played, but let's go on. And, uh, oh, it's comedy hit. Let's uh, let's accept this and uh, see, you know, product placement is always good. And there we go. It's a hit. Awesome. Get a bit more market share. Uh, we have less market share than Albrecht Industries. Wow. Okay. Um, but yeah, after this, uh, we will... Uh, our motivation is still doing fine. I will probably just go to, into training and see how far we can go with that. Uh, hopefully get lucky, get some good, like, plus eights or whatever the max is. Uh, that would be insane. Um, so yeah, that would be really good. We already lost some of the, uh, some of another effect on our market share. So there we go. We got a, a 9.4 before it was a 9.2. Yeah, so okay. This is, yeah, I mean, it's still better. Um, I think we kind of have to train up a bit more to actually do that solo. Uh, the unnamed color, free to plus three to plus eight. Hopefully, get lucky for the plus eight. Nine thousand bucks. It's a lot of money. But then again, we're making money every month, so we don't necessarily have to worry about it. And if we ever get low on money, we can always do a bit of contract work, or just stay in and do nothing and make money that way. Because you know, monthly balance is up. If as long as we don't pay for stuff uh, like developing features, like training, um, we're basically making money at this point. It will go down though, but you know. We also get some money for upgrading our office. Uh, this is like more long term. Complete marketing campaign on your home base. I mean, we could do that later on once we train marketing a bit. Uh, let's help the local food bank to get, you know, get people to be happy. And there we go. It's more of a waiting game at this point. Again, I mean, that's kind of the, the part of it's It's a big part of the solo challenge. Um. Product placement has stopped, yeah. So we're losing market share because of those things stopping. Uh, we're still making a good amount of uh, profit every month, so that's good. We're basically, we're making back almost the money that we paid for the training in the time that we are gone for training. So that's a good thing. Okay, that's a plus seven. That's not bad, with a plus eight being the max. We need a plus five to basically finish it. So let's see if we can get lucky. Uh, our motivation is low, but I think I'm going to go for it. Um, we could get lucky, maybe, and finish up another skill, like max out another skill. That would be really, 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 really good. Um, and right now we have the money, we have the possibility. Probably after we max this skill, we have to go on a vacation, and then with full motivation, start working on some of our features again, or do some contract work so we save up money. Um... And then start maxing out the other skill like usability and then go into marketing yes yes we have to go into marketing as well uh i'm not a big fan of marketing in, in most games actually because uh it, it's always it's either broken or it just doesn't do much um okay yeah we have to do taxes uh it's fine but yeah it's either broken or it doesn't do much in most games um and that's why i don't enjoy it in most games sometimes it's fun um and sometimes you kind of have to do it to be successful, like when it's the broken part, but I just don't necessarily like it. Let's zoom in a bit, by the way, just to see what we all have in this room. I actually never really took a good look at the room. Um, what it, because there are some, like the, the ghosts, the weather, the cat, the goldfish. We have a lot of sort of moving things in a set, in a sense. 
There we go. Okay, we got lucky. We got at least uh, enough to max out the skill. So aesthetic is also maxed out now. Awesome. Um, let's see. With 18 motivation. Yeah, that's not going to cut it. Um, we're going to go on vacation. And we're going to go... I mean, 72 should be good enough. Let's go bunny jumping. And... Uh, yeah, and that, and that would be the next uh, step on our list would be to probably do some contract work because I kind of like the fact that we need have some more money. Uh, we don't have to develop features, although we could maybe. Let's check. This is for two, this is for two, this is for two, this is for two, yeah. So we basically maxed out all the ones that are for one person, which is, of course, easy for us at this point with our skill set. Um... We could start working on some of those to improve them. I think we can definitely improve them. The question is, can we improve them to a 10 out of 10? Well, we're probably going to see. We're going to try this and then do some contract work afterwards. We have a 7.8 for this one or a 7.7 .7, or a 7. Send image. I mean, usability skill is not our highest, so... We probably have to work on that before we go into this. Although we could maybe do this. Let's try it. Which one is the cheaper one? This one is by far the cheapest one to revise. So, uh, no, no, I was looking at the wrong one. I was looking at development costs. What's the revision cost? Ah, it's still the same. Okay. Cheapest one. There we go. Let's see what we can do with this. Yeah, uh, yeah I know we haven't have enough people. We don't even have enough employees to do this. Uh, aesthetic. Aesthetic needs to go up, apparently, by quite a bit. So let's make it this. And we have a way better aesthetic skill right now. Actually, well, what we could do, we could just do this and see how that goes. And uh, let's see what we what he makes of it. Let's see. I'm actually really curious to see how far we can get this solo. Because if we max out our skills... And we have high motivation. If a bad review was a novel block, yeah, do nothing. Um, but yeah, if we have high motivation, then with our maxed out skills, we should be able to make some very good features still, even if it's features for more for multiple people normally. Um, I think we should still be able to get some really good features in. The question is more like where... Okay, this is a 10 out of 10. Awesome. We got a trade point for that too. Um, the question is more like where do we end at that point? Let's do some contract work. Uh, what's like a, a good one to do? Like an easy, fast one that just gives us a lot of money still. Oh, this is easy. St aesthetic skill. Yeah, we can do that. There we go. Um, but like trade points. How many do we have? We have one. Okay, yeah, we kind of have to start working with that. Um, let's see. We're in year six already. Wow. It is going fast. There we go. This should be easily done. Awesome. Do some more contract work. Uh, this one is pretty good. So technical skills. I think this is technical usability in a sense. So let's do technical like 55, usability 30, and then 50. That should be grand. We should be able to easily get that one and get some more money. I think it was 8,000. How's our motivation? Still doing quite well. So after this, we will do a training session. Uh, let's congratulate her. It's just... Uh, I don't... You know, there's no point in slagging her off for something. It doesn't give us uh, a better, you know, marketing position or anything. People genuinely don't like it uh, when you slag off your competition, I feel. Maybe if it's funny, then people, some people might like it, but a lot of people don't actually like it, in my opinion. Um, okay, we did that. We got quite some money in the bank now, so probably good to go to another training session and, of course, go to usability now. It's still weird that you can do these. As long, you know, we're maxed out. Why, why are these an option? I, I'm pretty sure if I click this, I'm just going to pay 9,000 and not get anything for it. But yeah, we're going to do this. There we go. <coughs> Sorry. Ah, nice and relaxing game. This is what I like about the game. And this is this is where it really reminds me of Game Dev Tycoon. Uh, yeah, sure, go ahead. Awesome. Uh, but yeah, just this sit back, relax and play game kind of mindset. 
And you can make it as difficult as you want because you can sort of overthink everything, make everything super efficient, all that stuff. Or you can just sit back, relax, and just play a game. It's awesome. It's awesome. That's what I really like about these types of games. As long as they let you do this, that's insane. Uh, oh yeah, we still have to do that research, that's true. We have to do the marketing skill for that one. I want to max out usability first and then, you know, make some new features. Well, actually, let's revise features first before we start making new ones. I feel like that is the uh, the better option right now. Uh, lots of marketing campaigns and all that are going on. We have to make a jump at some point, though, in our uh, market share because we are at the lower end. And it shouldn't be hard to overtake Albrecht Industries. But, you know... Plus six, that's not bad. It's it's just out of reach though now because we need a nine to max it and max is plus eight. So if we get a plus eight, that's lucky because it sort of guarantees that we will have enough, but it, it we still have to pay like 9,000 for one point. So how is our motivation? Ah, still pretty good. I'd say let's do another training and try to max out usability this episode. That would be really, really good. That would be insane if we could do that. Um, I don't like the fact, by the way, if you just click on these things, like if we go to trades now, the game pauses. Can we still... No, we can't play the game while, while being in the menu. That's a bit in annoying. I think that would be a good idea to have that as an option. The colors for used for your website were switched to a garish combination of orange, green, and purple. Oh, okay. Well, apparently... That's affected one of our features. Well, when we come back from training, we will do a small vacation and work on the feature. Based on our motivation, and what, what feature is it? It's, it's it's not a it's not the hard feature to do. We, we might be able to do it with lower motivation as well because of our skill set. Um, we will see what the motivation levels are like. If it's really low, then we probably won't do it. I'm gonna guess something like 40, 30 something uh, when we come back. Can we actually check it now or not? uh motivation 39 oh it actually works it was like 52 or something when we went away um i feel that that's a bit low though we might still be able to do fix the feature with that low motivation because of the higher skill set that we have but i feel like you know let's just wait it's not it's not like hurting us too much at this point so i guess a vacation is better and then try to revise one of our harder features and then as a secondary work on that feature plus four uh that doesn't guarantee us anything in a sense so uh motivation yeah okay let's go on vacation uh take the bungee jumping one it doesn't max us out but it's fine um so we got higher motivation we will work on probably like this feature or something try to max that one out get our trade points in and then we will as a secondary we'll revisit this one and make that a 10 out of 10 again that should be doable with lower motivation but not as low as like 30s or actually maybe we would have uh, a startup critic says that your startup's idea is ridiculous and is never going to reach hundred thousand dollars in value let's just ignore that <laughs> let's just ignore everything let's just ignore anyone we're just in our room here well, actually, we were bungee jumping now, but we're back in our room now. There we go. Okay, let's work on features. So, features. Uh, this one. Send image. Um, usability. Technology. Also, a little bit of aesthetic, probably. So, okay. We need a lot more aesthetic, apparently. There we go. That should do it. Hopefully, we can make that a 10 out of 10 as well. We have full motivation. That really, really helps us out. That's actually a thing. If you if you do this solo, the motivation becomes more important when you get to the higher projects, like the higher levels in the project and uh, the features. Um, because you have so much more to do, basically, because you're doing it all solo instead of with team with a team member. You don't have to, you know, you can't count their skill set with yours. So the motivation becomes a bit more important to actually do it with high motivation. In a sense, though. 10 out of 10! Awesome, awesome. Let's got another trade point. Okay, let's uh, let's go and revise this one. And that should be an easy one. Yeah, this is just because it's like, well, not hacked, but because something went wrong. I mean, we could 
put this probably down to here and make this a bit better. And that should be a 10 out of 10 as well. It just takes some time. And then we have fixed our feature. We have upgraded another feature to a 10 out of 10. Awesome. How much features do we still have left within the ones we have? So we have one, two left that uh, are not a 10 out of 10. This one, uh, we can shift it probably to 10 out of 10. This one, same thing. And then we have 10 out of 10s everywhere, which is awesome. Then we can just start worrying on worrying about other things. A group of people in Indonesia is making a game about your startup. They can't start playing. Hooray! Free publicity. We could sue them for money, I think. But, you know, why would we? Don't care about that. Let him post his job advertisements and whatever he wants. We don't really want uh, to hire people anyway, so... There we go. Is this going to be a 10 out of 10? Awesome. Good. That should have been a thing anyway. Um, do we do training? I think... I think it might be a bit too low to go to the higher... Uh, higher end here. I want to really do this with at least like 90 motivation to start. Um, to make it better. That has really low aesthetic apparently. For some reason. Ah, oh, we can fix that. Um, so yeah, I... Uh, Let's do another training session. Hopefully get lucky, get the, at least a plus five. It's like in the mid range of what we can get. But you know, knowing my luck, I will probably get the plus three or plus four. Probably plus four just to tease me. But uh, hopefully, let's hope, let's pray that this is not going to happen. And uh, that we just get at least a plus five. So that we get uh, the maxed out skill for usability as well. Then we can go to marketing. Yay. <laughs> Uh, yeah, okay, we kind of have to anyway. The good thing is if we do it, then we can uh, research everything with only my character, basically. And do all of the marketing campaigns as well with only that one character, which it could be actually ha come in handy later on in the game when we actually get to the point where we can't do things solo. We don't have to hire, like, a marketer for something. That, that would be quite nice to have that going for us. Uh... But that's about the only thing I'm thinking about right now for a positive thing. Uh, why can we be friend? Uh, yeah, sure. Actually, if we do this, I've learned from the last few times, it just basically gives a boost in morale to your employees. We don't have any employees. So basically, then we just throw a thousand bucks away. I want to see what it's going to do when we decline it and say it's not our demographic. What would be the... I I'm presuming nothing really happens. But you never know. Let's do it. Yeah, so we just we just refuse the offer. Nothing really happens. But I know from experience, at least I've always gotten the option uh, when you go for yes, let's try, it, but let's let's do the promotion st stuff. Um, it just basically always says the same thing. Maybe there are other outcomes, just with a lower probability. And just like I said, we got the plus three. Awesome. Just my luck. How's motivation? I mean, I'm I'm I, I just want to max this out. This 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 episode so we have the money let's just send them uh, the only thing is i wish you could send them to like lower grade classes as well it's not very really realistic because it's not like that's not how it works in real life you don't do like a fundamental like basic class and then once you're an expert come back to the basic class because you need a little bit more training that's not how it works in real life so i get why they don't do this but it's a bit of a yeah, annoying thing that you have to pay another 9,000 and, and basically lose your employee for another like one and a half a month of time. The time is more of a concern for me right now. I, I just don't like the fact that he's gone for so long. And that's also because we're making YouTube videos, of course. Because, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's the, the, we're just waiting for him to come back. There we go. One of the users. Ah, let's not give my phone number to a customer. Let's just ask them to submit. I'm actually really tempted to try out what will happen if we don't do this. I might do it next time. Just to see what happens. Probably something bad will happen. Um, but you never know. I want to kind of explore those options. And not just be like the... The person that I am in real life. Like being hopefully a bit uh realistic about it and thinking about it there we go max it out awesome um so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna set up a vacation 
to make sure we are full motivation when we come back for next episode. And next episode, we're going to work on the features again. So we're going to try to implement these two, get those to a 10 out of 10, do some marketing training along the way, a little bit at least, so we can do some other stuff on that front. And yeah, just start developing features again and uh, hopefully get it to the point where we actually have to really really be efficient in a sense to solo some of those features out and uh and get them still to a high level that's that's the plan hopefully you guys are still enjoying it if you do make sure to leave a like leave a comment and subscribe to the channel if you haven't it really helps out and it's free so just click the button okay <laughs> as always i've been hitbone you've been yourself thanks for being awesome and thanks for watching